Okay, I kind of realize that I am late to the party, but I just wanted to toss my two cents and some into this despite, well, me not contributing much to it, and I don't think there is anything, much of anything, that I can say that others haven't said before. So if I end up copying others, just kind of forgive me on that one. Anyway, we have this stupid, crazy nutcase who dialed a ride for Lyft and got offended by a bobblehead of all things. Yeah, it's it's pretty stupid. What's next? Are we going to be offended by a soap bar because it's made by a straight, white, heterosexual, cis male or something? Okay, I know I said the same word twice. Shut up. Hawaii, listen to me carefully, listen to me carefully, Annalise, is not a continent. It's not even, not even a portion of it can be considered a state, let alone the entire set of islands, a continent. Do you even know what a continent is, you dumb cunt? I didn't even know there was a Oh, you didn't? Okay, what you just said there is like I didn't know it was pillaging, even though I was like un ineligible. By the way, you won't get rid of the doll then. Okay, give me a good reason why he should have to get rid of his doll. Oh, it's because I don't like it, and I'm a stupid, spoiled SJW who has her lord over other people's lives. Hey, hey, girl, can you come back to reality, please? Because that was like really cute thing that you found at Goodwill. Um, uh, no. I'm not gonna not get rid of it because of that. I just don't realize it was a person anyway. But so obviously, like, you as like a white male. You're, you're fucking a white male! The racism card. Yeah, how many times have I seen this? Like, you think you as a white male? Uh, white men are your favorite targets to just attack, aren't they? It's like, oh, white men are a devil, clearly. Like, we just smoke weed and plot on how to oppress minorities. It's like, hey, I'm going to piss you off out of this bubble. You're like the least, like... But now you're judging me, you're assuming we're on No, I'm not. I'm not judging you. Bollocks. You are judging his taste on aesthetics, and you are calling him racist. Which, that is used to basically say, hey, this person's a racist. Like, I would imagine, like, just anyone saying hi. And I wouldn't be surprised if this actually happens. Someone's, someone of the straight man variety, just so much as saying hi to you. You call him a racist just for saying hello. Watch that happen. I'm calling it now. I'm just saying like that perhaps like you might be the person who is least hurt in the situation. I'm a passenger in your car. Like that doll is offensive to me. And I'm sure your babbling rant is offensive to him. But it doesn't matter. He is a straight white man, right? And what do you mean least hurt in the situation? Well, are you saying it's a joy to drive around spoiled brats everywhere? Like rich, rich spoiled brats, I should say. But you don't want to take it down because you like found it at Goodwill and it was like a good find. Uh, 
Yeah, no, I do want you to because it's actually deeply offensive. No, I do want you to take it down. How can a piece of plastic be deeply offensive? Like, I'm being for real here. How can an 8 inch piece of plastic be deeply offensive? Like, you saw something and like, ah, I'm cutting my soul! Shut up, be a hypocrite. You're gonna be on Gawker. <laughs> no, on you will be published on Gawker, and you'll be like the next internet meme. It's gonna be super funny. <laughs> Did you forget that Gawker filed bankruptcy? And it's been taken down. You stupid. <laughs> How can you publish something on a website that has been taken down and went through bankruptcy? <laughs> no, I think what ended up happening is you became the next internet meme, Anna. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, God forbid, like, anything bad happens to me, I'm gonna post it. Yeah, I mean, like, God forbid, like, anyone take your special Hawaiian doll away from you. Uh, no. God forbid you. Don't try to boss Anna around and get them to tear shit apart or take shit down or get rid of something just because you don't like it. Um, because it's a thing that actually affects my life and a thing that doesn't affect your life. How does a piece of plastic affect anyone's life? Heck, I have a gold lucky cat. What, am I somehow responsible for appropriating Chinese culture? Fuck you. This other girl and the driver, I have to applaud both of them at this point. I, I really do. Like, bravo, you two, bravo. It's this kind of shit that's just, no one's putting up with it anymore. Okay? No one is, you know, no, no, no. I'm glad more and more people are speaking up against these people. The, the more people speak up against these retards, the less power they seem to have. They, they can't push anyone around. That's awesome. Whoa! Thumbs up, other girl and driver. You only can't see me, and this is kind of weird. You're just looking at my avatar. Forget that I said that. It's not sad, it's important. Did you say it was pathetic? Yeah. Can I have your name, please? Uh, Jane. Your last name? Green. Thank you. Nice failure at attempt to shame Miss Jade here. Uh, that was a really nice name, Jade. Jade Green, if you're watching this, super name. I do hope you and I can maybe become friends at some point. That'd be awesome. More moron! Or are you not listening to the driver? It's glued down. Like, how can you put something down that is glued on the dashboard, anyways? My 
God, you're the literally the dumbest feminist I've ever come across. It might be not amusing to all passengers. You're going to experience this again, by the way. Okay. And so I hope that from this lesson, this like today... Lesson, you're, you're being rude, actually. No, I'm not being there's rude. There's one way to tell somebody something, and there's another way in which how you're doing it, and, and you're not being pleasant. Oh, because I wasn't nice enough to you? Anna, Annalise, listen to me carefully. This whole trip Thus far, you have done nothing but complain about the Hulu girl bobblehead. Saying it's disrespectful, saying it's cultural appropriation, you're calling him a racist. How, on God's green earth, have you been pleasant? Tell me. I wasn't nice enough to you for this thing. That's fine. I've been video recording the entire time. I'm excited. That's cool, and, I, and I'm being respectful to you. No, you're not. You have been actually very rude and extremely entitled. Congratulations, Annalise. You just won the gold trophy in projection. Here you go. Oh, I'll, I'll have it airmail to your face. Engraved. Annalise, the dumbest feminist ever. Go price rejection all the way. Oh, I'm sorry that my Hawaiian lady is offending you. Yeah, I'm sorry that you have no consideration for actual Hawaiian people who don't want to be a bobblehead item in your car while you're driving for a lift. You I've never facepalmed this many times when responding to a video. So, congratulations. More to the point. <laughs> I... I don't even know what to say to this. Except for... From this, I can gather you're calling actual Hawaiians weak. Like, no joke. This, this is exactly what I'm getting from this. You... Are saying that an actual Hawaiian person, when they look at that bobblehead on his dashboard, would get so offended and triggered just by seeing it? You're essentially calling him weak. I'm pretty sure if they were sane, they would just not pay any attention or praise him in his taste and aesthetics. Not get overly fucking offended over a fucking piece of fucking plastic, you fucking stupid fucking feminazi. And yes, I'm I'm going with feminazi. You fucking selfish, dumbass idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the irony here. You fucking selfish, dumbass idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from the girl who thinks Hawaii is a goddamn. <laughs> You have no connection to this culture. You know what that is? That's a cute little bubble item that you had in your car that you don't know anything about, and you're an idiot. Well, thank you very much for your opinion. Yeah, you're welcome. Maybe you will think about it tomorrow when you wake up in the morning. And maybe when he gets up in the morning, he'll have a super high on over that bubble head. Mm -hmm. All the way to my I house. Don't have to. It's no, my yes, car. you I'm do. Ring the drop off. Here's the sidewalk. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. I'm so excited. Can I have your name again? Nope. Have a great yes, night. Yes, I can. No, can I have your name again? Well, I'll just stay here then. Well, then. Oh my God. This is my car. Can you please get out of here? No, I won't. Call the, the police. Call 911. Okay. About how I won't leave I your wish car. You would. Can you please? Exit no, the I can't, but you can give me your first and last name. What makes you think that he's obligated to give you his name so you can dox him and publicly humiliate him all over the place? Like, you can... I know what you're doing here. You're just trying to fish up more information, contact his boss, and try to get him fired. Because 
he went and been to your well. That's I I know how this game works. Disagree that it's social justice warrior and they aim for your livelihood. It's not pretty. It's fucked up. That's what it is. weirdest night of my entire life and he could not get away fast enough so that I couldn't get those license plate number. How cute. Uh, no. I'm fairly certain he just wanted to get as far away from me as he possibly can because you're annoying, you're entitled, you're bossy, and yes, bossy. <clears throat> he just may very well win the gold trophy in stupidity. Ugh. Well, that's that. All I have to say now is bye. Oh, and by the way, the whole hypocrisy thing? Apparently, he runs a porn company. Like, he's CEO of a porn industry. I can't, damn it, I can't even talk now. I believe it's God Girls, that's, that's, what it, that's what it was. Undoomed brought the slice, so you can thank him being the source of info for this. Go check out his channel if you haven't already. And, see you back here for whatever. Oh, if you can find a feminist even dumber than this one, please link it down below. That'd be great. Thank you.